Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Classic Licks lesson. This is the, the lesson where I take a famous or influential electric blues guitar player and try to teach you some of the basics of their style or share some of the licks and ideas that I've learned from, from listening to their music and studying their playing. For the next year or so, I'm going to be going back and redoing my previous Classic Licks lessons. Some of these I did when I first started doing the YouTube stuff and my camera wasn't the best and my lighting was pretty horrible and I've learned a lot more about each of these guys since then, you know, six, seven years ago. We're going to start out, or uh, this one actually, I've done, redid T-Bone Walker and I think I redid Magic Sam. This is the lesson for Eddie Taylor and Eddie Taylor has always been one of my favorite electric blues guitar players. And what I'm going to do here in this lesson, actually a series of lessons, is go through what I call the Eddie Taylor Shuffle in the key of A. And if you've never heard an Eddie Taylor Shuffle in the key of A, you're in for a treat. These are really fun to play and they're different. Now Eddie Taylor played with a thumb pick and a finger pick. He used the finger picking approach to the electric guitar. He was you know, a country blues guy who turned to electric guitar and he passed this style on to guys like Jimmy Rogers and Freddie King and others in Chicago. But for this lesson, I'm going to use a flat pick, since most guys out there, I assume, play with a flat pick. If you really want to sound like Eddie Taylor, then you probably want to start fiddling around with a thumb pick and a pick on your first finger. So anyway, let me play an example of an Eddie Taylor shuffle. Now what I'm going to do is take you through it and introduce you to all the elements, including the intros, the end tags, what you can play as fill licks, and then also what you can do for solos. And above all, we need to understand playing in the A position. And Eddie Taylor, a lot of these licks and things I'm going to do are based on what I call the long A shape. And this is a, another idea that Eddie Taylor picked up from the country blues, the acoustic blues. So anyway, here is an Eddie Taylor shuffle in the key of A, my version of it. cool stuff. Now the A position, let's talk about that before we do anything else. If you make an A chord, a first position A chord with your left hand and take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the first string, you've got what I call a long A chord. And you're going to hear that a lot in this Eddie Taylor style. The chords for an A shuffle, we're using basically this long A for our, whenever we play an A, you also need to know a D7 played a little bit differently, more in the country blues style. I've got my thumb on the second fret of the sixth string, and then my first finger is on the first fret of the second string, and my second finger on the second fret of the third string. And then the E7. You're going to use that chord a lot. So, the basic shuffle, let's just take it, a, take it apart and let's talk about the shuffle lick that's going on and then we'll work on the intros and all the embellishments to it. So the basic rhythm is pretty standard electric blue stuff, but if you listen to the recordings of Jimmy Reed, you know, it's Eddie Taylor playing on, on there and I'm pretty sure he's playing the bass rhythms. When he did his solo stuff in the 50s for VJ Records, which is what I'm basing most of this these lessons on, he did his own kind of style and it was usually in the key of A. So all I'm doing is putting my first finger on the second fret of the fourth string and playing the open fifth string. And it goes like this. 
And then I'm going to move my ring finger to the 4th fret of the 4th string, slide it to the 5th fret, and bring it back. One of the crucial elements of this is I'm using my right hand palm, and I'm setting it on the strings near the bridge, on the 4th and 5th string. me to control the sound and kind of make it more percussive. When he goes to the D, he'll just move that first finger over to the third string and then use the open fourth string. And then back. Now when he gets to the five, Eddie Taylor, instead of doing this, which he would do, there's a couple tunes where he actually goes to that shuffle rhythm over the five. So if I put my first finger on the fourth fret of the third string and use the open fourth string, I'm going to go between the fourth fret and the sixth fret. Whoops. Then you can go back to the four. But a lot of times what Eddie Taylor did is he would play this, an E 7th chord. And what I hear a lot is he gets the open 6th and then hammers on to the 1st string at the 3rd thir the fret of the 1st first, first fret of the 3rd string. And then maybe get some open strings, 1st and 2nd string, before putting his pinky on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string to make an E 7th. So you get this. And then sometimes he'll go back to the D7th, just for like a beat, before playing one of those kind of licks, which we're going to get into here in, in just a minute with the turnarounds. So the basic Eddie Taylor shuffle is just a blue shuffle on the bass string. part, you're thinking, oh, big deal, you know, it's not so hard. But to get it to sound like he did, you know, you really have to, to play it a certain way. What we're going to do next is we're going to take that kind of basic part and we're going to learn stuff to play on both sides of it and in between it. What I mean by that is we're going to learn some ways to kick it off, you know, introductions. We're going to learn some turnarounds to go from one verse to the next. We're going to learn some end tags, how to end the shuffle the way Eddie Taylor did, and then also we're going to learn some licks to play as fills and as a solo.